Sunday and um, we had amazing weather here in New Zealand and we're having a long weekend which is beautiful. I hope you had a nice weekend with your families and friends. So today I want to talk about um, how to overcome failure. First of all, there is no real failure. Um, there's just feedback. So whenever you go and do something and you're not succeeding straight away, then this is just an indication for you that the way you chose to um, approach that certain situation or that certain task or you know the steps towards your goal just means, hi Jimmy, um, just means that this particular path did not work. So you know when you're failing, it's just actually it's it's an opportunity for you to learn. It's it's an opportunity for you to discover that okay, this way I tried didn't work. So what's the next uh, approach I can try? So for instance, like I had, a, um, you know, I mentioned before I did this English test, which I failed over and over again. So the first time I tried it, I didn't really practice because I thought, well, my English is good. I was a little bit cocky. So um, I did my English test then and failed badly. So I, I thought, okay, fair enough. I didn't practice, you know, it wasn't as easy as I thought it would be. So that was for me like, you know, um, an opportunity to kind of discover, okay, what do I need to do? Okay, I need to practice. So I thought, my, thought to myself, okay, I'm going to put myself in English school in Australia for three months. That should sort it out, right? I'm going to, uh, yeah, put myself in an English speaking country. So I have to speak English nonstop and um, then go to school and have teachers which help me with grammatic and all the other stuff. So I did that and failed again. No one could believe it. I mean, my speaking was always quite good, so my speaking was amazing, and everyone was like, "Oh my God, look, that's her with that amazing speaking." But um, everything else was pretty crap, so that was unfortunate. So, as I mentioned before, I did this test over and over again, and I think I did it all together seven times. So from that point, I had another English teacher. I had a private teacher. I went all together to two different English schools. I think I had two um, private teachers. I did everything I could. I spent every second of my free time t learning English and still failed. And y you can imagine, like, at that point, I felt like a failure. I mean, at that point, I stayed a year in Australia. I lost all my money. Like, I, you know, I spent it on tests on English schools and teachers. And I had to, you know, I had to pay money for my visa at the time. So I really spent all that money and um, everything to kind of pass this test and still didn't pass it and I tried everything uh, at one point I was so desperate that I thought because everyone said I was overworking the test maybe I'm doing too much and I thought okay so I got one night really really drunk and thought okay I'm gonna you know maybe I'm doing too much so I thought you know I'm just gonna get drunk so I'm gonna be too exhausted and the next day to kind of worry too much so I'm, maybe I'm gonna be more relaxed well you can imagine that didn't work out well either so I failed again and you know, sometimes when you fail or when you discover so many different ways which do not work, hey Sean, hey T, um, then you kind of getting to a point where you're really miserable, right? Hey Gabriella. Um, so maybe just take a break, do something which makes you feel good about yourself. You know, for me, it's I love taking a bath. Like it really helps me to. Um, energize again and really charge my battery or you know go for a walk at the beach um, whatever works back in, back in the days I would go for a run which would really help to clear my head so do things which kind of pick up your energy you know and just because you fail doesn't mean you're not gonna get there so for me um, at that stage in Australia I was really at my lowest point not succeeding seven times you know I thought I'm stupid like I'm, I'm really too stupid for this test but then I just took a break for a little bit, took two weeks off, moved to New Zealand and um, just thought, okay, what's going to be my next step? So I really evaluated myself, um, really tried to figure out, okay, what, what, what is it that I really want? Like, where do I want to go? Um, how important is this for me? And um, so for me, this was really important. I needed to pass this test for my own sake because there was no test in my entire life I didn't pass at least the second time around. So, you know, not passing something seven times really made me feel like um, I was doubting myself. So, but, you know, one good thing, I didn't give up. Like, I really, I really hold on to, um, to where I want to go and that I really want to pass this test.
So the last time around, I thought, okay, you know, I'm going to do it relaxed and stuff. So that's what I did. Like I really, um, I was still practicing, but I was not overdoing it. And eventually I passed um, the test. Hey Liz, she can talk about that story too. Liz had to do the IELTS as well. <laughs> hey, I hope you guys good in your family. So um, on the end, I did I did pass that test. So um, what you know what really helped me was um, evaluating, seeing what I can do to kind of um, take a different approach towards towards what I want to achieve. Um, definitely, like take a break if you have to. Like you know, um, yeah, get depends what you're doing. Like get people from that very um environment you know of what do you want to succeed like network marketers if they have a certain way what they want to succeed and like get to your mentors um which are already very successful so you know get some ideas from them and um just make sure okay what you did um sometimes what you're doing is not necessarily wrong it's um it just didn't happen yet so don't give up just before you actually achieve your goal yeah so um so yeah, failure is really just feedback. So don't, don't, don't give up just before you, um, before you, before you achieving your goal. So what you can also do is positive reframing. Thanks, Liz. Um, so when you not achieve something, just look at, look at, um, look at the things you learned. Like you know, you learned a lot of things. You probably met a lot of people. You, um, you saw a lot of things which didn't work. So you know already so many ways okay that doesn't work but all of these things get you one step closer to what's gonna work what's gonna make you successful what's gonna help you achieve your very goal so really have faith have faith in you have faith in your goal and um, you know just just believe in yourself and know that you are limitless you can do whatever you want you are unstoppable just believe in yourself and um, you know really um, surround yourself with positive people people who pick you up people who give you energy to achieve whatever you need to achieve um, if you're not having people like this in your environment get a mentor get someone who believes in you get someone who supports you in in your path you know because we all need someone um, to support us sometimes so don't don't think you alone in this like there are many other there are even groups where people supporting each other while they're on on that path of success I mean uh, look at Oprah Oprah, they told her, you know, she's not good for TV. Or the guy from Disney, he would lack an imagination. So, you know, even when people tell you no, or you're not good enough, you're stupid, don't believe them. Like, who are there? You know, they are no one. They are one little fish in the big ocean. There's so much more for you to get and to achieve. So really, do me and do yourself a favor. Believe in yourself. Um, go for what you want to go for, you know, go for your dreams, dream big, and sometimes a big dream, just um, cut it down in little steps, you know, so you have little success, um, um, success, now the English words are missing, but um, then you have feelings of, you know, succeeding some little goals on the way to your big goal, because sometimes um, we overestimate what we can do in a short time but underestimate what we can do in a little bit bigger time so you know um yeah just go step by step and just make sure you keep on it you know because the only thing what um separates you from people who are successful it's consistent work and not giving up that's the only thing putting time in um and just doing it over and over again until you get there so um yeah don't give up. Keep on going. Believe in yourself. And if you need any support, any help, we are here. Um, myself and my husband, we would love to help you, love to support you and see you succeed. Okay. Have a beautiful Monday evening or beautiful day, beautiful morning, wherever you are in the world. And um, we'll see you next time. Bye.